Hello Nuggets. All right, I want to do a little video today on um, not on any personality traits or the universe, but on um, software, computer software. So I'm a, a games designer and a writer now. So I love computers, right? I mean, I'm, I have three monitors in front of me because of the when I'm designing games, I have like the, the game editor here and I have my research documents here or like the engine manual over here and then I'll have an art program over here or the game window over here so and I use the three monitors and I need them and I'm very immersed in my computer world very immersed in my computer world so I love computers so when I move into when I'm writing I want to engage in my computer. I want to use my computer to help with my writing. There's lots of things I do. I have my online thesaurus, you know, here. I have my research documents over here. And then I have the, the in front of me, the, the tool that I'm using, whether it's Word or something else. The traditional way, when you're plotting out a story, or one of the traditional ways, is to use a corkboard, right? So I have one over there. You can't see it, obviously. But use index cards. So you write down, like if it's a screenplay, you write down the scene, you put it on an index card, you put it up on the board, and then you move those index cards around, add new ones, add synopsis, and just fill it out, fill it out, fill it out until you can basically read all the way through these index cards and go, yeah, that's a movie, let's go write it. Okay? I want the digital equivalent of that. The problem is I can't find the piece of software that does that adequately. There's like this industry standard, standard software called Final Draft, that is an absolute piece of shit. <laughs> it's a fucking awful program. It's so badly executed. And their business model is awful. Like they just, they update it. They, they don't update it. No, what they do is they sell a new version that is sometimes backwards compatible and sometimes it isn't. I don't know how they've got such a grip on the industry because they're just not very good. I use a thing called Fade In Pro, which is a much smaller company. It's cheaper, way cheaper, and it's better. And I like them. They're a really good company, but they're small. They don't have the support, so it doesn't have all the features that you want, and their outlining tools aren't very good. And Final Draft just doesn't have anywhere near what you want. And a lot of the features that are in Final Draft just simply don't work as advertised. They have this thing. I have a writing partner that I sometimes work with. They have this thing called collaborator or collaborate where the two of you can work together that's never worked never worked so the writing tool that's supplied to you doesn't work but you can write your screenplay using fade in pro it's good i like it support them i think it's like 60 bucks for pro and it, it is genuinely worth it that's a company i feel that you should be supporting right but what about outlining if you don't want to write on the index cards, which I like the idea of, but I've been using computers computers for 25, 30 years now, my, I can't write index cards anymore. My skill of writing, these the muscles that did that have gone. I mean, they just have. Um, the muscles that do this are super powerful as well as the, no, the muscles that do this that are super powerful. So I can't write index cards anymore. It hurts my wrists. I get, I, I get, um, I get aches and pains after just a few minutes. So I need to type it, right? And you can't print out. I'd like to type and print the index cards, as ridiculous as that sounds, because I like the tactile visual idea of looking. But then you need a special printer, or you have to set your printer up with index. I mean, it's just a nightmare, right? The perfect solution is a digital represent representation of a cork board. But there is not a good one out there. I, I use Scrivener. There's this very good, I won't say extremely good, a very good program called Scrivener, which if you're on a Mac is extremely good. Because I used to use it when I had a Mac system and it is extremely good. It's really good whether you're, whatever you're writing, right? Because it's kind of a like a binder system where you put all of your information into it and break it up, especially if you're a novelist, like it's really, really good. The Windows version of it is okay but it doesn't have a lot of the features and it's a little buggy. And if you sync documents between your desktop and your laptop, which a lot of writers these days do, I don't know why that isn't the most important feature on almost every program. We're a mobile world, man. You need that now. Anyway, on the Windows version of Scrivener, I use it. It doesn't work all the time. I have to do my own backup to be safe. So Scrivener, which I think is probably the leading um, uh, software in the market for 
whatever they call that brand of software. It's okay. It's not great. The corkboard is a bit clunky. I can't find a good piece of software for outlining programs. And I've tried for outlining stories, and I've tried so many of them. And it drives me, it drives me absolutely nuts. You know, I actually have an outline of an idea for uh, a program called DevWrite, which is specifically for outlining stories for games, movies, television, and, and, and various other things, for developing ideas that will allow you to do animation if you're in games, to do um, storyboarding if you're in movies, to do sketching if you're in graphic novels. Like So a, a system that allows everyone to outline and then write the full story. Um, because it just doesn't seem to be out there. Or if it is out there, they all have their own individual problems. And there isn't a standard that everyone uses. Or in the case of Final Draft, the standard that everyone uses is just a shitty piece of software. So, I don't know. I guess this turned into more of a rant. It's just, you know, I went out today and I wrote in Scrivener. I just got frustrated with it. I'm like, why doesn't it do this thing? This is annoying. This is what... <laughs> I don't know. Very frustrating as a writer. But I had a good day's writing. Um, if you are watching this, no one's watching this, but if in the future you are watching this, please analyze the market. And if the tool doesn't exist for creative people, make it. Because you know what? Even though we're a broke bunch, we'll buy that shit. We will. Artists have no money and they will buy the most expensive paint. Writers have no money and they'll still spend $250 on a piece of shit software called Final Draft. So we will buy stuff, right? Just go out and make the program. And if you need to charge $300 for a piece of writing software, which is actually well executed and allows you to cover multiple monitors and has a thesaurus and has a research and a binder and all of that kind of stuff, and a cork board and is really well executed, we'll spend $300 on it. So go make that right now. You, go make it. All right, have a good day, Nuggets. Bye.